This is In the Paint, courtside highlights of Arizona Junior College Hoops. Division I powerhouse Mesa Thunderbirds played host to Division II foe, the Glendale Gauchos, on Wednesday night from Theo Heap Gymnasium in Mesa. Mesa head coach Sam Ballard knows that every game down the stretch is of the utmost importance as his Thunderbirds come in just two games out of first place. The Gauchos started the game strong as Anthony Hendricks drives the lane for two of his eight first half points, keeping Glendale close. Later in the first half, Mesa would take over the game with outstanding transitional play of guards Trey Ogles and Shaheem McClellan. Tyler Wembish, who would finish the first half with a game-high 13 points, adds two here. Tyler Fink, the nation's third-best three-point shooter, contributes with a pair of threes coming off the bench. Before Glendale could catch their breath, Mesa had scored 20 unanswered points to build a 38-11 lead. The Thunderbirds would take a 47-22 lead into the locker room at the half. Glendale played well early in the second half, but the overwhelming Mesa lead was too big a mountain to climb. A frustrated Damon Lopez could only watch as his Glendale Gauchos lose to the Mesa Thunderbirds 86-57. For MCTV Sports, I'm Jeff Lowry. The 14-10 and 10 Phoenix College of Bears hosted the 6-18 and 18 Pima Aztecs. The last time these teams met, PC sophomores Chris Mason and Chris Solomon had a combined 52 points. Phoenix College sophomore guard James Pierce pulls up and makes an open three. That's all it took for the Bears to get rolling as it started raining threes in the gym, making the score 10-0 Bears. The Bears' bigs controlled the paint with Patrick Massey and Marquez Jackson making powerful blocks. Then Cameron Israel dished the ball to Solomon, who drained the three, giving PC a 19-9 lead. Most of the Aztecs points in the first half were hard to come by. Freshman guard Terrence Carroll makes a challenging three with a hand in his face. The Bears went on a 40-6 run to close out the first half, going into the locker room up 50-11. The Aztecs pulled together as a team in the second half with this throw from freshman guard Mike Scroggins, which led to a fast break layup, bringing the score to 60-23 Bears. The Bears bench played a vital part in the win. Freshman four Joel Fagel passes to Marquez Jackson down low for the two-handed dunk. Pima did all they could to come back, but the Bears had four players with 10 points or more, coasting to an 88-50 victory. After the game, we spoke with assistant coach Carlo Camacho about how important the front court was in the game. The bigs have been huge for us. Usually when they play well, we play well. Uh, so they give our guards a lot of, uh, a lot of security blankets. The 13-12 and 12 Scottsdale Artichokes hosted the 6-19 and 19 Pima Aztecs. The teams met last month in Tucson with Scottsdale making a second-half comeback with a final score of 65-63. The Aztecs start the game with the 2-3 zone and leave open Scottsdale sophomore guard Daniel Scroggin for an easy tray on the wing. Scottsdale's forwards and guard fought hard on the boards. Scottsdale guard Solo Nichols drains the corner three that starts a 7-0 run. The next play, Pima Ford Orlando Lopez sets the screen for freshman guard Lawrence Pierce who nails a three. Pima had good ball movement that disrupted the Scottsdale zone and led to easy points in the paint. The Artichokes have the lead at halftime, 27-21. Scottsdale came out at halftime focused on defense and opened up easy offensive possessions. In the second half, Pima was only able to make 28% of their shots. Scottsdale capitalized 23 points off of turnovers for Pima and the Artichokes get the win over the Aztecs, 71-51. We spoke with Scottsdale head coach Warwick after the game about how tough this win was for the team. There are no easy games in this conference, so anytime you can take care of business at home, that's good. In more men's sports from last week, on February 6th, Central Cruz passed Scottsdale 97-74. South Mountain over Chandler Gilbert 69-55. Cochise top Tano Odom 100-86. Arizona Western 65, Eastern 54. On men's games from February 9th, Mesa over South Mountain 73-66. Central beat Western 66-58. Eastern Cruz pass Glendale 76-59. Cochise won. 13 Chandler Gilbert 60 and Phoenix College top Tano Odom 77 to 65. For MCTV Sports, I'm Mike Caratanudo.